Hello everyone, welcome to EasyMed. Today we are going to discuss about calcium and phosphate homeostasis. We study calcium and phosphate together because they are the major constituent of bone and teeth and they are regulated by the same hormones. Talking about calcium, about 99% of total body calcium is present in bone, about 1% in soft tissue and less than 0.2% is present in serum. And normal serum calcium level is 9 to 11 mg per deciliter. This serum calcium exists in three distinct forms. Aprox 10% is complex calcium that is calcium bound to organic and inorganic anion. About 40% is bound to albumin and remaining 50% is circulates as free ionized calcium. This free ionized calcium involved in most of the biological actions of calcium as action potential formation, muscle contraction and others. This serum calcium level is regulated within narrow range of 9 to 11 mg per deciliter. Now let's talk about phosphate. Phosphate is a part of ATP molecule and it helps in activation and inactivation of enzyme as well. Plasma phosphate concentration is not strictly regulated and its level fluctuated throughout the day particularly after meal. There are three organs and three hormones that govern calcium and phosphate homeostasis. Parathyroid hormone, vitamin D and calcitonin are hormones responsible for it and that acts on organs like kidney, intestine and bone. Parathyroid hormone is synthesized, stored and secreted by chief cell of parathyroid gland in response to decreased calcium level. At normal state, extracellular calcium binds to G protein coupled receptor present in cell membrane of chief cell and via IP3 and DAG pathway, calcium is produced and protein kinase C is activated that inhibits parathyroid hormone synthesis and release. So, decrease in calcium levels stimulates parathyroid hormone secretion. Before knowing the response of these hormones at organ level, let's talk about paracellular and transcellular transport. Paracellular transport. First, it is carried through intercellular space. Second, it is passive process. P for paracellular, P for passive. Third and most important, it is not subject to hormonal control. Now, transcellular transport. It is carried through cell membrane. Second, it is active process. And third, it is subject to hormonal control. In kidney, calcium is reabsorbed from both roots, that is paracellularly and transcellularly. Paracellularly from PCT and ascending loop of Henle, whereas transcellularly from DCT. And also 80 to 95 percent of phosphate is reabsorbed from PCT transcellularly. And in intestine, both paracellularly and transcellularly, calcium is absorbed. Action of parathyroid hormone in kidney. As we discussed earlier, only transcellular transport is subject to hormonal control. So there are three major functions of parathyroid hormone in kidney. First one is it increases calcium reabsorption from DCT and proximal convoluted tubule by increasing transcription and inhibiting endocytosis of TRPV5. At luminal side, calcium transporter like TRPV5 and 6 is present through which calcium is reabsorbed from renal tubule. Free calcium can disturb cellular metabolism, so it binds to calbindin and at basolateral side it is transported into serum via sodium calcium exchanger and calcium pump. Second, Parathyroid hormone increases phosphate excretion from kidney and third it increases vitamin D reabsorption. Action of parathyroid hormone in bone. In bone it increases bone resorption and hence increases serum calcium. Talking about mechanism, firstly parathyroid hormone binds to G protein copper receptor present on cell membrane of osteoblast which increase activity of adrenal cyclase hence CAMP level increases 
so protein kinase C is activated that release rank ligand from osteoblast as osteoclast have rank to bind with rank ligand of osteoblast so osteoclastic activity is increased which causes increased bone resorption and result in increased serum calcium level action of parathyroid hormone in intestine well parathyroid hormone does not have direct action in intestine but it converts vitamin d into its active form by stimulating 1 alpha hydroxylation which ultimately increases calcium and phosphate absorption from intestine vitamin d there are two forms of vitamin d in our body d2 that is ergosterol which is obtained from exogenous source like plants and d3 that is cholecalciferol which is endogenous source and synthesized in skin in presence of uv light then 25 hydroxylation takes place in liver and which converts cholecalciferol into 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol and finally one alpha hydroxylation takes place in kidney by enzyme one alpha hydroxylase and 1,25 dihydroxy cholecalciferol is formed which is also known as calcitriol and is the active form of vitamin d action of vitamin d calcitriol or active form of vitamin d has major action in intestine where it increases both calcium and phosphate absorption it has same but weak action in kidney in bone it is essential for both bone formation and mobilization of calcium and phosphate from bone and coordinates the remodeling action of osteoclast and osteoblast talking about mechanism of action of calcitriol calcitriol acts like steroid hormone it enters the target cell and binds to the cytoplasm receptor and thus formed hormone receptor complex interact with dna and ultimately it increased transcription of calvindin due to increase in availability of calvindin calcium absorption increases now calcitonin calcitonin is secreted from parafollicular cyst cell of thyroid gland and it is antagonist to parathyroid hormone and this hormone is secreted in response to hypercalcemia it exerts its hypocalcemic action primarily by inhibiting osteoclast mediated bone resorption and secondarily by stimulating renal calcium clearance so overall some important points are serum calcium level is regulated within narrow range of 9 to 11 milligram per deciliter kidney intestine and bone are the major organs and parathyroid hormone vitamin d and calcitonin are major hormones responsible for calcium and phosphate homeostasis only transcellular transport is subject to hormonal control 1,25 dihydroxy cholecalciferol or calcitriol is active form of vitamin D. Parathyroid hormone increases calcium reabsorption and phosphate excretion from kidney. It increases osteoclastic activity in bone and hence increases calcium serum calcium level. And it has not direct action in intestine but it stimulates one alpha hydroxylation of vitamin D that ultimately increases calcium and phosphate level. Vitamin D increases both absorption of calcium and phosphate from kidney and intestine. At bone, it has both osteoblastic and osteoclastic activity. Calcitonin has hypocalcemic action primarily by decreasing osteoclastic activity and secondarily by calcium clearance from kidney thanks for watching if you have any question regarding this topic comment below or contact us in facebook or instagram and don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel thank you